So hello ladies and gentlemen, last year I released a quick tutorial on how to install mods on F1 Manager 23 and after a few requests we're going to do the same for F1 Manager 24, we're going to keep it nice and snappy, nice and simple, let's get straight into it. So the first thing you want to do is open your browser of choice, mine's Chrome and where I get most of my mods from is the overtake.gg website, I think it used to be race department, might have changed now, you will need to create an account, it's all free so make sure you're not paying anything, I don't like paying anything, tight Yorkshireman, don't like paying out any money. Once you've done that you'll come to the home page, go on to downloads, this will bring you onto the downloads for all the games they've got on here um, including F1 Manager, now go on to the F1 Manager on the right hand side um, and click on f1 manager 2024 which is of course the game you want to install the mod for and on here you will see there are lots and lots of different mods for your save now what we're going to do we're just going to pick one at random as we go down let's have a look what have we got we want something that we can see that will stand out have we got like a toyota and Haas? here we go so that we'll be able to see this so click on the mod of your choice you'll see all the um all the sort of pictures and everything about it um, and who this mod is from so we can see this is from mr only so you're getting a, a shameless plug on a random youtube video mate you'll be very happy with that indeed so this will download the livery the pit crew the driver suits driver photos everything so what you want to do is click the download in the right hand side that will go into your downloads folder sometimes it'll be a raw file sometimes it will be just a zip file but either way then you can go to your downloads which of course are here now i've already downloaded this to test it earlier but we're going to go through the full steps so this is the one we'll just delete these two here so this is the one we've just downloaded double click on this and it'll open up your extractor of choice again this is just WinRAR. i believe this is just a, a free copy uh, we're going to extract these and just push OK and that will extract it to the same folder, your downloads folder or whatever folder you've just downloaded the raw file to. X that off and you can see now we've got the file itself here. Now this is where it gets interesting because you'll double click on this one and this will show you the three files included in the folder that you must copy. So make sure you copy these, Control and C or however you like to do it and then you need to go to the F1 Manager 24 file wherever that's installed on your system. So on my system it's in the C drive, I'm going to take you through the full steps. So mine, this is on Steam, so it's Program Files x86, then you want to be going down to Steam, then you want to go down to Steam Apps, I'll leave this down in the uh, down in the pinned bio just so uh, you can see where we're going, Common, and then you, this brings you to all your Steam games that you have installed. If you go to F1, man, uh, F1 Manager 24, and then F1 Manager 24 again, then into content and then into packs. Now what I've done, this is all the packs that's already installed on the base game. I haven't installed any mods at this moment in time. But what you can do is I have come out of this and I have pinned this to quick access. So as you can see on the left hand side here, I actually have this pinned on the left hand side. Just makes it a little bit more simple so you don't have to go through that process all again. So once you get to this file, make sure that you then paste the three files into this uh, into this location and then you want to boot up the game. It's as simple as that. I'll boot up the game now and we'll see if we've got the Toyota Haas livery in the game. And here we are then, game all booted up. So what we're going to do now to show you that this has gone into the game, we're just going to click on New Career um, and then we can see now as we get through this little intro, we'll just skip the intro. So we obviously affected the Haas team and turned it into Toyota Haas. And as we click onto the Haas team, we can see now it is Toyota Haas F1. We can see the driver suits have changed and of course the car has changed as well. So when you went into the game, and this would work on existing save files as well, the Haas team now would be running the Toyota Haas livery and driver driver suits as well i hope that's helped it's a quick tutorial just like last year i hope that's helped you refresh your f1 manager 24 game and of course you can check out that and my own f1 manager 24 save here on the channel please do like and subscribe and i'll see you on one of my other videos Ta -ra.